You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Hit the Floor After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Hit the Floor After Show. Hey, oh, 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 I'm loving, I'm supposed to be loving Layla. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, what a great way to start the show. <laughs> hey there, After Buzz fans and Hit the Floor fans, we are back recapping one of the juiciest shows on TV. I'm Ali Kona Bradford, and I am here with some wonderful hosts, as you can see. But, you know, I'm going to start the introductions with the ladies, so please, if you will. Hey, guys, it's Layla, She's Stephanie. Back. I know, I'm so glad to be back with you guys. Yay. We missed you. I missed you. I was a very enthusiastic. <laughs> we missed you, Layla. I missed you too. That's good. That's good. I'm Nick Purdue, guys. If you don't know, Google it. <laughs> I'm Mark Rodriguez. And yes, we are continuing the tradition from season one. We were rolling in the guests, and today we are rolling in not one. Oh no. But two very special guests. So we are going to be welcoming the unlikely father and son duet. So with us today is Don Stark. Yeah. 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 And Brent Antonello. Yay. Yay. Awesome. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for coming by to After Buzz. Well, thank thank you. you for having us and for playing the courtship of Eddie's father. That was totally your request, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. yeah. so, so, I liked it. So if you guys didn't like the song, you can tweet at Don Stark. What's the rest of your tweeter? Tweeter. Tweeter. <laughs> tweeter. Let's keep my tweeter out of this show. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. So really quick, I want to talk about your guys' relationship because I honestly did not see a son happening in the picture. And one of the descriptions for you on the website when we were being teased about the show was that you were dying to get into the devil's arena. How much of it do you think is Jude doing that because he either wants to be very successful like his father or he has daddy issues and it's just this is the only way he can get close to his father? Both, really. I mean, um, I think he does want to be like his dad to a degree. Who doesn't? The professional aspect. <laughs> I don't know about the personal part, but yeah, I'd say both. So are we going to, do you think it's going to be, well, y- y- you know, it's, so it's not of a think, but maybe you can tell us, is there going to be a, a bigger story arc for you guys more so coming into the forefront? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You're going to have to wait <laughs> and see. A lot, of, a lot of fishing. You guys going fishing together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Throwing the baseball Camping. around. You don't even know. Yeah. Bonfires. Yeah. There's fishing. There's digging. There's yeah. digging. fishing. I meant bicycling. Digging. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's so, boy. okay, I'm going to get this one out of the way. And I'm either going to, okay, you're going to sound like a genius of disguise and also an incredible actor. And I'm just going to sound really slow. So we're just going to get this out of the way. But I don't know how I didn't realize up until Nick said it hmm. that you were from the 70s show. And I've seen the show, but I just yeah. did not yeah. put the nine, two Nine years, right? Nine years? Yeah. Yeah. 198 yeah. episodes? Oh, right. Really? One of the biggest shows yeah, on TV. Come on. Has, you know. I have a picture, yeah. by the way, of you that I'd like to post yeah. if yeah. if we can get that up. Oh. I don't know if our engineer can get that up real quickly. But anyways, With the afro and everything. Yeah. By, by the way, thanks for being a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't mean it like I know. Like I said. Very master, similar role. Matt, hey, I mean, hey, Clark Kent and Superman. Lois Lane never figured it out. And all it was was glasses. Yeah. And it was yeah. just hair. Hey, you know, the yeah. afro really. I don't it know does. how they didn't put the two together. <laughs> so like I said, I put it out there. Do you right have now. like an afro wig you could possibly put on for us? Oh, absolutely. Okay, just checking. Pulls it out. Carry it in your back pocket. <laughs> you know, epic. while we're doing demos, we were actually watching the show together. And one of the things that Don did let us in on is that he actually taught Jody how to do her walk. And, oh yeah. And and you did mention you could show us a demo, so I'm okay with that. If you guys are I, okay with that, I, mean, yeah, I yeah. could. I I, I think I have to, to take this. the headset off. That's fine. That's, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, so will you be able to hear what I'm? describing because it really is important to learn you know it's uh, like no, a dance okay yeah, yeah. Okay. you can just say it a little bit here, louder here we go now, now face face the camera and behind you 
Or walk walk towards the. the there you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah. All right. Where am I? Uh, right this way. Yeah, yeah, there we yeah. are. I'm here. Okay. Now it's really important. Jody's got that walk where her hips just kind of flail back and forth. <laughs> so for you guys at home, it would be left nut crush <laughs> and right nut crush and crush and crush and I guess for women. That would be your ovary, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, give it a round. Yeah. Awesome. 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 I remember we heard, what was it, Nicole, our AD, heard it when we were rehearsing, and all of a sudden you just hear, she goes, why are they doing construction right now? <laughs> what is going on? And it's just done. I, I always, my body is always running hot, so in order to keep myself cool when I'm on the set so that makeup doesn't have to keep coming in, I have a variety of different fans that I bring with me. Well, I bought one that is actually attached, it's a Makita drill. It has a fan on it. So it's like being in you know, a, a wind tunnel. And uh, the uh, the first AD, Nicole Burke, who is amazing, she heard that thing and it's like, what the hell is that sound? She's a little sensitive to sound. So I didn't bring it anymore and she turned on the air conditioner full blast where everybody on the set had to wear, you know, big parkas <laughs> and everything. <laughs> So thanks for bringing that up. Honestly, <laughs> coming onto a set, you've done you've done your own set of projects and what have you, but you are also coming onto a set where there's well-seasoned actors oh, yeah. like himself, Kimberly Elise, oh, yeah. Dean Kane, and then on top of that, a cast that already has their own little familial thing going on. How intimidating was that for you? Uh, it was very intimidating. I remember our first table read. That's the day I met everyone, and um, that was very intimidating. But Flipping it over, I remember my first scene was with McKinley, and this is when I got a sense of who these guys really are like, mm -hmm. and it was the scene from today at the funeral. And I remember like the sun was going down, it was the last shot of the day, and I remember McKinley just looking at me and go, hey, dude, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. Oh, that's cool. And Aww, so that yeah. day, I always I mentioned it last week, and everyone's like that. Everyone's so generous. Mm -hmm. This that, guy. That's not what he said. <laughs> <laughs> behind your back. <laughs> That's a different story. What an but, um, idiot, he said. <laughs> no, but I, meant to, I t told Mark, I was just like, um, when I first got there, I was like, okay, no one's really this nice. It's the new guy coming in. Everyone's trying to be all nice, make it all smooth and stuff. But yeah, from episode one to 12, everyone's the same. It's well, great. It's, it's great because he, he and I, I mean, Brent's a great guy. And, uh, I really like him. But then, you know, our relationship in the show is different from that. So we would be outside, and the the first scene that we did together was at the construction site uh, during the uh, groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then after that, we did scenes. The first scene last week, when he uh, calls me dad, and I give him the stare. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't talk that much before it, and I just gave him the look, and then it's like he went to James, the creator of the show, who's a brilliant one. Wow, you really creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think my kids think about that? <laughs> Wait till they like, get a load of me. <laughs> That's great. So did you guys discuss before you actually went into the scene or started working together, discuss a little bit what you thought your relationship or history was in the past? So like fill in blanks or you just went off the script solely? I'd say so. I mean, we both went to James and got a lot of information from James. As far as the relationship and stuff like that, which is no information, we don't get much information. <laughs> James secretive. keeps everything <laughs> secretive. I mean, you know, you read it on the script and you go, it may change, right? Because he won't let us in on anything. But but Brent and I worked together on some of the first scenes that we had that we were in the <laughs> arena and and talked about it and just kind of rehearsed for ourselves, so we felt comfortable. And then. Uh, you know, we did what we wanted, and then they told us that that was completely wrong. <laughs> 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 so we did what we were told. It worked. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, let me ask you, Brett, because 
you know, like you say, going toe to toe, I would, would say, you know, with with Don Stark. I mean, you know, because we've you look on Don Stark's IMDb page and it's like six pages long. It's oh, yeah. ridiculous. You know? mm-hmm. So, but was there any intimidation? Because you know, you had you had scenes with Dean Kane who punched him in the face. You know, and then you said, mm-hmm. you know, you had uh, you know the the face to face with the. Uh, McKinley Freeman and so and then mm-hmm. you know, this with, with Don Stark was there anything where you're like oh my god what is going on right now oh yeah especially because I watched that 70s show right I mean I watched every episode of that so going into it <laughs> some like, people recognized me <laughs> from that 70s show hey, but... hey I was never going to let that go you know you, hold on <laughs> Hold, hold, please. I was calling you a very well-versed actor, very talented, because you fooled me because of the dichotomy of the two different roles, and a master of disguise. And you just took it to another level. I think she said she had the pig ready now, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ready for it. Oh, no, no, no. no. Hey. There it is. Hey. See, and I associate that with... Dad? Yeah. Dad? Dad? Daddy? 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 And he has the chops, too, which is great. <laughs> Great. Shut the hell up. Oh, oh, oh okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was that was that was intimidation. Right, right, right. Speaking of your treasure chest of a resume, I actually have another picture from way back in the day that oh, I wanted no. to pull up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Take no. It back. <laughs> oh God wow. Almighty! What is that from? Oh, Don't. that's from Evil Speak, the last word in Screaming Terror. I played Bubba Caldwell. Oh, my God. I pick on Clint Howard, who is this kid, and then he summons the devil. And, oh, wow. But nice butt picture yeah, I was on gonna the say, Playboy. Oh, my magazine. God, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's been in a flag now. No, uh, he, he, was pl- yeah. he was planning that the whole time. He was like, watch, they're going to pull this up. But yeah. <laughs> I'll show them. Well, I was also looking at how young and thin I am and, and – I distracted myself by looking at the picture of the butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, totally, I'm totally fired. <laughs> Wait a so, second. So, last picture of you, sir. Oh, come on now. Okay, see? See? Oh. This is Oscar. Oh. This is Oscar, okay? Yeah. Yeah. This is why... I don't know. I just didn't put the... Yeah. I'm you know? glad because I've been spending the last, you know, eight or so years trying to go in that different direction. I've played as many oh. bad guys as I've played good guys but once you get seen as something mm-hmm. you know it, it's hard for anybody to believe that right. you know oh you can do something else right right if you're a famous actor they have you study a different language for six months or you know change your your look completely but you know otherwise you just have to try and you know reinvent yourself and so that's what i came up with and it works. That's, yeah, that's yeah. just sad compared to that other picture that was up there. Just <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you, have, like, you have that, you talk in the me face? Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Very, yeah. Very, yeah. Very, yeah. Very, Casino, good fellas. Yeah, yeah that, 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 so I look like I either ate something or smelled something <laughs> really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much my face. Like you just had a bad cannoli. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Leave the gun, take the cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of languages, don't you have different dialects that you're capable of speaking, if you will? I've seen it on your resume. Unless your oh resume God. lies. Oh, man. Um, oh, you're putting me on the spot. I man. am. I don't... There's nothing sexier than a man with an accent. Come on. Yeah, Nick was me. saying that before. This is true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> way, to, way to go, Rosetta Stone. What do, you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do? When what are you capable of? Oh, um, I don't know. I have like a... I used to do... This is fun. I used to do the Beatles thing with my dad. It's like... Hello, this is John Lennon. How are you doing? <laughs> this is the other submarine. Like, it's just that type of stuff. You can't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> Wait, which dad? With... <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. Hey, don't get into that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but why do we have to hold our nose while we're doing it? Are we not capable of doing it without holding our nose? It has to have the nasal. <laughs> the... That's John Lennon with a cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Right. Days for John Lennon. <laughs> so I also have a few pictures of you, young sir. Oh boy. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh. Okay. So. Ooh. This picture I pulled. Ouch. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about this little project. Bloody. Um, that was a short film that I did. That was actually my first film I did in L.A. It was a short film called One Fine Sunday. Um, I think yeah, it was a short film. That was a cool experience because that was my first time in L.A. Mm-hmm. And years ago, 
But um, I thought that was you and your dad doing the Beatles thing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop plugging my nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, that was a little short. Like, the, had, went into little festivals and stuff, and I was really excited. But that was like the main, the first time I was actually doing a film. So and let's do a correction. Is that the one that you had won the award for? Please tell us. Yes, the film did. It okay. was the Royal Real competition in Canada or something okay. like that. Hmm. Maybe. I think so. I don't know. It was so long ago. All right. Why don't we but go yeah. to... We it, was an Academy it was an Academy Award. That's yeah. what it was. Ah, Ooh. look at so, that. Wow. Going along with <laughs> so the, the, the two different looks we did for Dawn, I wanted to do for you as well, because I was like, wow, look you at that. Senior photo? Baby, that's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. My shirt's so bright. <laughs> was, now, was this, in, the was this in California or was this back in Florida? I was in Fort Lauderdale. Wow. Yeah. And let's go to the next one. So Some we go Marlins from that, color. right? right? <laughs> Definitely. To look at that. Who there is that? Is. There it is. Oh. Hello. Everybody out of the out of the locker room. Jude. I'm taking a picture. Right. <laughs> Jude has to have his moment. All grown up. <laughs> you're not that sweaty because everyone else was like doused with baby oil. You I know. know? They so really didn't gonna... put too much sweat. Right. Right. Don, I guess that's... Don, where's Oscar's picture in front of the locker? I'm just sweating right here. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got in, it. That's he's in the locker? Was, there was a there was a, a picture that as someone <laughs> tweeted. And I was like, why did they just add Don to like, they put him on top of the locker? Right, yeah, I was like, why did they put, like, who put this? It was hilarious. But I was like, welcome. Well, publicity took all these pictures of the locker with all the, you know, the sexy people and the young people and everybody <laughs> doing this and doing this and doing that. And they're on the side of a bus. Nothing. We're not in any of it. So Robert... <laughs> Robert took it and put us in after in he's, he's great in photography and he put me on top of the locker. <laughs> it was great. pretty creepy but accurate. But <laughs> yeah, my head was just on top of the locker. Where were you in the whole thing? They kind of squeezed you in somewhere? You're kind of right behind me just looking over me like this. <laughs> and what Some picture was it of you? Was it the cannoli picture or was it like the afro? Uh, it was somewhere in between the uh, <laughs> and afro. It was a canafro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you looked healthy, though. Wow, so thank that's you. The, that's thank the, you. You know, I looked healthy. You did. You looked. You looked. What is that? You looked what, healthy. Is that? What, the, what the hell? You don't say <laughs> that to a man of my age. You go. You look healthy in that picture. Are you all As right? You're to now. Are you, you look a little warm. No, Are you no, okay? Because because you know like the picture of other people like they were, they were swaying and they they looked a little tired. But you looked good. It was, you know, you were healthy. It was... You were Are there any books that you've been reading lately? Yes. As a matter of fact, uh, Maria's new book, and I'm glad you <laughs> mentioned it because it's, it's right true. there. Could we just oh, yeah, right put here, it up it? there? Um, okay. Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. That's Ooh. my Bible right there. It looks like a great Bible if you Thank ask you for me. bringing it. We got a little uh, promo we want to play too, right? Let's do it. Hey guys, Maria Menunos here, and I wanna share my newest book, The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness with you. Basically, every woman always stops me and asks me how I lost 40 pounds, so I decided to put it all in one book. Everything I did to lose 40 pounds step by step, and how you can too is in here. I did it with no time, no money, and no willpower, and now I'm gonna show you how to do it too. You can pre-order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, wherever books are sold, and it's out June 3rd, so I hope you guys love it. I hope it helps you in your weight loss journey, and please, please tweet me and update me on your progress at Maria Menounos. Thanks. Yay, thank you, Maria. Great message. Great I actually, book. I lost 40 pounds between the first season and second season, so thank you, Maria. It's on Oscar's number one list. Yeah. <laughs> Tweeted yeah. at her, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice tweet. You know, the irony of this, this show hit the floor about dancing. We talked about this in the theater. You have a history in dance. I'm just going to put it out there. Even if it is made up, it was on the internet, and I trust the internet. Yeah. The, so, the internet said that, that I'm a dancer and a bodybuilder. Well, take a look at me. Really? Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to quote Kyle <clears throat> from season number one when they said, Are you an exotic dancer? And her answer was, No, I'm a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a stripper. Oh, let's see some moves. 
I, I think you've seen enough. <laughs> 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 we just want and you to keep dancing. I, I'd like to show you some more, but I hurt myself really badly. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not healthy anymore, Nick. Aww. Aww. I hurt myself. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, doing the uh, Jody Lynn <laughs> O'Keefe walk, that'll, that'll definitely do it to you. Yeah. That'll hurt yourself. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, let's, let's, let's get into this episode, because, I mean, tonight was incredible. Like, it was, you know, just, just everything from start to finish was ridiculous. Like, I, I really know James is doing his thing. So, mm-hmm. want to jump, jump right I was just going to say, let's, let's take a vote by hands. Who thinks that Oscar is responsible for Olivia's death? Hmm. Not necessarily responsible. What? what? Well, what do you what do you mean oh, you responsible? Guys can't even raise your hands. This is a cheap. I'm not problem. saying that he's responsible, no. but he might be responsible for framing someone. I'm not saying that he. So he put the shovel. He's in the like, trunk. oh, she, like she's dead. Yeah. Let's let's use that to our advantage. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, yeah. like like what I said last week, rich people don't get their hands dirty. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. So technically, Oscar didn't. Why your ha- Why your hands so dirty, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> I just, no, technically, he didn't I kill just her. washed her. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, I mean, putting the shovel in in uh, in the back of, of Rick Foss's uh, uh, Chase Chase Vincent's car. Oh you no, know. no, no, allegedly. Alleg- yeah. 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 That smile, oh, that smile at the end. Guilty. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there was that balance of I'm trying to look sad at the end of the funeral, but I'm kind of smiling because you know I'm mm-hmm. not getting caught, so it's cool. That's, That's what I got. That from funeral, it. that was. I've Intense. never seen anything like that. Different, no, right? With the speech at the beginning with Yelena. Yeah. Let's just talk oh. about that because you know what? At first, I really did think she was gonna be human and she was gonna cry and have a moment. Uh-huh. And then when she was giggling the first time around, I was like, "Wait, she starts is it is that laughing? I'm confused. Yeah, what? Confused yeah, well, no, because it looked like she was crying at like, first. It looked like could ah, but then I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, but maybe she's. Then I was like, the way she rubbed her nose, like she's a, she's a crackhead yeah, now. Yeah, I, I, like, I feel like she was on drugs. I feel like I really she's a do. crackhead now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, she high? Like, what's going on? That's what it looked like. That's exactly. And she did the whole partying <laughs> and <laughs> hanging out with Zero. He's already right. taking her down. Right. Right. <laughs> Nick, no, I mean, he's her. how is it that you identify what that kind of behavior is? Ooh, you've yeah. seen it on TV. I'm I've definitely saying. seen a lot of like there crackheads is. on that. A lot of smoking TV. on that yeah, '70s show. Of, you know, because you look healthy. I am. <laughs> For the most part. For the most part. <laughs> but no, and then, and, and, uh, but, you know, I have to retract what I said last week. Okay. Based off of saying that Zero is an angel. I think, actually, uh, and this is going to be another metaphor, but I think Zero is the devil, essentially, now. Hmm. I called that already last week, well, though, when you were trying to call him. Well, all, no, I mean, but, you know. but, but, I mean, because, like, now really seeing it, though, this right? Because, you know, essentially, at first, the devil was an angel. Lucifer was an angel. So, you know, he, you know, he knows scripture, knows this, knows, knows that, yada, 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 right? So now coming to, uh, 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 coming to her defense you know so he's like okay this is how i'm gonna yeah. save her but i'm gonna pull her back down in and now they're over here smashing in the confessional. yeah that's what's like the irony of them in the confessional booth like they're that's going to hell why, <laughs> why did you why did you say that last week last week you're like oh he's an angel i went out and get the same haircut he has pretty much a little bit longer and then now you're t- like i totally now i have to shave my head you got it you got it well don't shave it all the way but no, you got it okay. you got it man the real get your facts straight yeah. James LaRosa. Right? Yes. The creator of the show. I mean, that's got to come from somewhere, right? <laughs> Every like... time you think you know what's going on, and I'm talking about us, and we see the scripts, mm. you don't know nothing. It <laughs> you can't always turns. It. It's crazy. <laughs> including the end. We don't know what happens at the end of the show. We don't know. How many? How many? Scary. Scary. I think that's great. Black though. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys shoot like multiple endings or is it or like were you guys even at at the final scene? Hold on. I, I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a narrator's voice at the end, just yeah. like, and then right, right. <laughs> once upon a time in a world. Wait, hold on. I wanna talk about there was a line was and I'm sure you guys will remember it, but you guys were having an interaction and obviously it was PR hell. What was the line that you had given him about the hand job? <laughs> I said, Jude, I need a hand, not a hand job. There you go. <laughs> Bam. Yeah. Boom. Yes. Father and son like you've never seen before. <laughs> this has been another Oscars line orama. Yeah. Right, right. Every week. Yeah, that's, that's, we do. that's yeah. you're, you're two you for two right now. <laughs> yeah. It could be a book. 
Oscar's aphorisms. There you Speaking go. of books, no. <laughs> <laughs> he already did that. Maria. <laughs> Um, so let me ask you guys, what do you guys think about Asha obviously trying to keep her professional life professional away from Derek? Do you think it's a little bit of an excuse because she's pushing him away? How do you feel about the situation? Me first? Okay. I mean, right. anybody okay. Well, who okay. wants to take the uh, mic? No, I mean, you, you know what it is? Because I, I get it, you know, especially like in her office mingling. It's not the best thing. You know, and especially if you know that you can get fired by messing with old boy, mm -hmm. then it's like, all right, you know, maybe we should probably really keep this on mm -hmm. the on the down low and not, you know, be fooling around behind yeah. closed doors or unlocked doors in the you know facility or whatnot. So, I mean, I think it's not worth it to her because that that opportunity and that that she has being devil's girl, she's wanted that her whole life. So why risk it over a guy, even though he, she's attracted to him and they have a thing going on? It's not it's good to keep it. Private. Yeah, and it's like the whole thing is extremely questionable too because Yelena just is with every guy, and those were the kind of the rules before with Olivia. Now you got Sloan, so it's like right. those blurred yeah. lines. But like, I, I feel like Olivia's death affected Asha the most. Like the whole episode, she's just kind of down, and then her dad's like, "Hey, by the way, this and this." Like, <laughs> and yeah. then like throughout the whole show, she's just like taking it the hardest, harder than Vincent. I think it's a nice change to see Derek because we saw him in season one. He was this egotistical, arrogant guy. There's still a little bit of him somewhere lurking behind, but it's like she's become his kryptonite in a sense because you see him, you know, man up a little bit, if you will, with his chest out as soon as he sees German. But then when Asha's like, yo, cut it off. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was like, what? Right, yeah. okay. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you don't have to play him like that. I mean, it was, it's not, he's you know. Little, psh, no, he's not whipped. Oh, yeah. You yeah, think yeah. he's whipped? Yeah. All men. We're whipped like the family pig. No! <laughs> Come on. Sure, you say that now. But yeah. You're sitting close to Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Notice there's a gap in between the women's side and the men's side. And that's because they told us to be this far away. Yeah. That's right. yeah. yeah. We're but just I mean, living in the not, world. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, but you know, it, it is it is good seeing like a human side, I guess you you can say to Derek, and you know, I mean, maybe this relationship will help him, and you know, kind of based on some of the, the comments that people left on uh, our YouTube uh, uh, video, uh, over twenty two thousand views. Thank you guys. Uh, they were also talking about Derek's previous drug habit, and ah uh, uh, yes, but mm -hmm. but if you notice, it only happened in one episode. So it wasn't like a reoccurring thing. So could it have been like like a one off, or was it something that he was doing before? I don't know. But now we also now see Terrence contemplating. Yeah, you know well, the in, knee or he's in pain. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. he never I, threw it away. Like why does he still exactly have it? Why? why is he still carrying it in his glove box? Does that make sense? Does it's that... a reminder. That's what it is. Mm. You know? Oh, to to screw love basically. F it. I mean, he's he's trying to win a ring. Okay. And he's, you know, like, I mean, on the show, he's like probably like 36 or something. So he's, you know, he's trying to win the ring. I guess. So let me ask you guys, and I don't know, yeah, this is so tough because you can only say so much. But will we get to know a little bit about your history? And as far as you, obviously, you had a romance with someone, and, you know, this lovely gentleman yeah. came Who's from that mother? romance. Yeah. Right. Will we find that out? Who's your mom? You don't have to tell me the storyline. I you am know. your father, Luke. Sperm donor. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Olivia. This is tricky. Uh, my first wife is my son from my first marriage. Do how many marriages did you have? How many do you need? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is very true. But when people say first marriage, it always alludes me to think that there was a second, a third, a tenth, well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, married for a second time during the show, so I ah, am married. Yeah. That is true. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You've never been married, have you? <laughs> <laughs> He'll learn. You will. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I mean, right. Oscar. Right, right. Oscar. 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 Shit. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. What I, else? I, I, this inkling right that you, your character jude has a thing for jody lynn o'keefe's character i don't know why and i could be way wrong and they're yeah. always kind of together yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i noticed that too what is this, this how is can you not have a thing right, right. Like, I can't nick tell him what would no. nick what would you do if you were jude and you got lionel right there uh i would i would pay to have, have raquel killed uh and be like hey 
Look Mine what was. I did. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> you come Wait. to the games now. All the effort to try to split up. Oh, what were you going to say? Well, he, he's smart. See, now he's thinking like Oscar. He would pay to have right. her killed. Yeah. He wouldn't do it himself. No. He's a wealthy man. Exactly. He <laughs> understands the way things get done. Exactly. <laughs> and because it's like, how am I going to get Lionel if I'm in jail because I killed some, some chick? You well, gotta yeah, do that. think but, about the end but, goal. Okay, Let, let's just, you know what, hold on. Let's just talk about <laughs> Jude's approach to Pete Davenport. Oh, because, you know, I know that the wheels are turning. He's, you know, your dad's telling you, you gotta separate the two. And mm -hmm. I thought, no offense, but I thought it was gonna be something a little bit more manipulative. But when he walked in there and, you know, made his mention about her sleep, uh, and her referring to uh, Sloan. 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 Yeah. yeah, sleeping with this handsome gentleman next to you to get the job. I was like, really? Well, then he's like, I have some work for her. So what? Are, what are you involved yeah, are you in exactly? Now? What's going on? <laughs> well, it it kind of shows you that, you know, Pete's, you know, he does have feelings for Sloane, right? If that does True. get under his skin a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's his baby mama. So yeah, there's always yeah. Gonna be that. You know, I mean, I'd probably do the same thing if someone were to say that Look, to me. It's <laughs> it's a Jedi thing, you know. It's like the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. He's in training and mm. he right. learns how to be. Like these little missions. You know, manipulate and find his way into my good graces. Uh, yeah, with yeah. that, and then also at the end talking to uh, Derek, like, hey, by the way, you know, you don't remember that part? What? At the end, yeah. you, then you're talking the to funeral? Derek. Yeah, at the funeral, too. By the way, you know, I helped Zero get here. I can, you know, if you need somebody, I, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not your agent, but. You know, and I feel like that was actually very well said. I feel like he is in training because there's this level of night. I can never say the word naivety. Help me. Naivety. Naivety. Naivete. There you go. Naivete. Thank you. Naivete. Thank you. That, and that, he's naive. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you made that so much easier. <laughs> I complicate things. Such a woman. But I, even in his approach, and maybe it's just the way that you choose to play the character, but there's something about him that just doesn't seem like you're cutthroat just yet. Oh yeah, yeah. I would say that. What's the word again? You're not completely jaded Naivete. yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm really just looking for my dad's approval. If he's, yeah. if, in a certain degree I mean that scene where um, the hand job scene <laughs> I love saying I love how I po I point my dad I know, the hand job hold scene hold on hold what on what kind of show is this shut right? the hell up you're not helping either one of us <laughs> Everybody's gonna get the wrong. You don't say the hand job. <laughs> yeah, my dad and I, the hand job scene. Come on, man. That's a major spoiler alert. <laughs> Holy. Major crap. spoiler alert. Same yeah, I, guys. I think he really right. wants to get into my good graces, and I think he he wants to emulate what I'm doing and improve himself. Mm -hmm. And by doing these things, you know, Oscar's not a Mr. Happy Feel Good. You know, at a boy, you know, kind of guy. So I think Oscar would be kind of hard to get close with. Like it's probably very hard for him, even as your son, to really get close with you. So he's trying everything. Oh yeah, you oh know? yeah. And Jude doesn't want to be a junior sports agent his whole life. I mean, he wants to be in this guy's shoes. Yeah, so unless that. unless Jude is kind of playing that he's naive, and just really like the one who's gonna turn around and thing manipulate and be like, dad, you know, you know move, everything yeah, yeah. from him. Mm -hmm. Some Quentin Tarantino shit going on. <laughs> like, oh, it was the whole time? The whole time? I'm just lingering in every scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Watch it. Watch it over yet. In the back <laughs> I also want to hit up a little bit on Cat Bayless's character on Kyle. And do we know, what is the name of the gentleman who's the loan shark? His, not his real name, but. The, his real name? Not his real name. His real name is Jared, correct? Jared Ward. Yes. What is his character's name? What? I'm on it. We'll be on it. This I am, I am DB. Yeah. Really, really hold, yeah. hold the hold, please. Wait, wait, wait. We got cast members in yeah, the house. Benny's, Benny's the husband. I don't care who her pimp is. Oscar's <laughs> her pimp. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Original that is pimp. true. The OG. Oscar, Oscar, uh, Oscar, and Kyle have a lot in common. Wait. Okay. Take it back to season one. Did you guys have relations? Because she walked into your office with a jersey and nothing else on, but she was that and some fired. heels. Technically, I think she did. <laughs> she had relations. <laughs> <laughs> is that in the deleted scenes? Okay. Right, right, yeah. yeah. It's in the uh, bonus I, DVD actually, extras. Actually, there, there is a bonus DVD when she comes in and, and she says, no, actually, I think I can help you. I get off the phone. You see her walk towards me, and then that's it. 
But when we <laughs> when we filmed it, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> so I thought it would be a good idea if I had a meatball sub <laughs> on the desk, <laughs> and I was eating a meatball sub while the thing was going on. So if you go on to the bonus scenes and you look at it, uh, you will find the deleted, and aptly so, deleted meatball sub scene. <laughs> I was looking for an endorsement from Subway. <laughs> <laughs> That's first Still working on it? Yeah. Eat fresh? No, nah, it just didn't work. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make it to the uh, to the show, but it is in the, uh, in the, the in outtakes. The Jared's name is Bo on the show. Bo, Okay. <laughs> You, um, you know, I want to go back to that, but now that you're mentioning deleted scenes, are there any fun, juicy other deleted scenes that we can I've, have you I, I watched them. What, what, what happened in the I mean, first season? It's, oh, on, the, it's on the first season Not even the that, season though, DVD. because our fans have probably seen that. I mean, episode one, episode two. We don't know what's deleted yet. But you just saw episode two. Episode well, one, episode two. Uh, they make cuts, but then there's um, always outtakes and, and things that, you know, happen that are, you know, funny that end up in a reel at the end of the year that you didn't quite expect and yeah that's true you know so that will come later on they even they keep that as a surprise too ah uh, gotcha oh wow in, and didn't you mention that Dean came? oh yeah the first take that we had first of all we shot that at like four in the morning it was right after the dance and all that stuff and um I mean we, re we rehearsed probably twice and for some reason my hand went up when Dean hit me the first time and you actually heard you heard it. I just remember Dean looking up at Dean and him just going, <laughs> you okay? I was like, no, <laughs> Dean, I'm good. You didn't hit me. You didn't hit me. <laughs> but um, yeah, then you just hear, everyone, Brent can take a punch. Brent can take a punch. <laughs> but yeah, that was, yeah. You should have just kept that and been like, yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, yeah Superman, come into you the can't show. hit me. Yeah, you're in the back, Man, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm going to hit you for real this time. And then you're like, you know what? You don't want that to actually happen. That actually happened to me while filming the show. I was do, doing a fight scene, and uh, the the actor was supposed to hit me with his elbow coming across my face. And if the camera's over there, you could be where you are. And if I time snapping my head back at the right time, well, he got right close to me, and I was up against the wall, and came right across, hit me. I hit the floor. <laughs> and the next thing I knew, you know, when you, you, you get hit, you guys know what it feels like to get hit. And it's like, oh, I'm bleeding. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. And then I stood up and they said, oh, man, his teeth came through his lip. <gasps> oh, no. And it was like, oh, my gosh. Then I hit the floor again. <laughs> <laughs> so my stunt man finished the episode, finished that scene. And I came back, and the rest of the episode, I had stitches. I was like uh, Al Pacino in, in Serpico. It's like, well, why don't you get those cops away from my door? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you don't want to. Was, crazy. was that, by chance, in Three Ninjas Kickback? I loved that movie. <laughs> that, I still want to be a ninja one. because of yeah, that movie. Yeah, and yeah. I saw that today. I was like, what? I, I was most excited about that. You yeah. really need to get out more. <laughs> 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 Isn't that everybody's dream to be a ninja because of that movie? Yeah. yeah. I know it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't. Think. Well, you, you know the irony in that, or the weird thing about that. It's totally off, hit the floor. But I noticed that you played a sheriff in one of the ninjas, and then you played an entirely different character in the other one. Yes, they were really desperate for actors, so I did it all. Oh, okay. He <laughs> was he was all three ninjas yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fighting yourself. <laughs> Anyway, so I, I do eventually want to get back to Bo, uh, the, the lone shark, and Cat. Ooh, I always want to call her Cat. Uh, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, there you go. Um, so with their whole relationship and everything that they have going on, and they're trying to scheme this, that, and whatever. P.S. I love that they brought the gentleman back from One Tree Hill. Steven I, Coletti. Yeah. Thank you. He looks like he did Teddy. on Laguna Beach. Teddy, yeah, exactly. He does? He, yeah. yeah. He still looks young. Oh, Yeah. I don't know, but he looks he, healthy. He, 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 he looks healthy. He looks healthy. He healthy. That's what I thought. <laughs> I feel like her and the Lone Shark are gonna eventually get it on. Some like kind she's of a little turned on by his scheming ways. And he's coming. He, mm -hmm. he you know, he wants. He wants she something. likes those kind of guys because her her husband, her ex husband, is in jail. So obviously, she likes those schemer, criminalish guys. So. Uh, yeah, probably right about that. Real sexy. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, <laughs> I'm all over the place, but, you know, talking about getting turned on, back to Yelena when she was giving her speech <laughs> and giggling, and all of a sudden there was that rescue moment mm -hmm. by Zero. And as he's giving his speech, 
her face to me looked like she wanted to orgasm. Did anybody else catch that? Because she's like, I caught that. I caught that. Anyway, I just I that. that's what it looks like. Right. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> not exactly, <laughs> but you know. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what, do, what do you guys think about that whole situation? Well, I mean, you saw her throw her leg on his shoulder. That's she's she's flexible. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. She's I, a dancer. <laughs> yeah, I think she likes him. Yeah, <laughs> she she likes him, but she doesn't want to like him. I think she just likes the sex. I think I think oh. that's what it is. I think it's just the it's just the the physical, you know, because she's not uh, you know sexing uh, Terrence right now. So. That was a hot scene. The, yeah. In the yeah. professional, like. I guess it just shows you need yeah. to go to church more. Mm-hmm. Right. Is that what it is? <laughs> if, if it was saying anything, that's, what, <laughs> that's, 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 that's exactly that's the message. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just had a moment of a thought in myself. So anyway, going back to that, Did you have sex in the church? Is that no, no. You, 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 you didn't yeah. say you, you had a moment. You was like you have to express the rest of the space. That's that's like, that's 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 complete misinterpretation. Winner, winner, winner. Right, right, right. No, no. Right. My, my Behind the church? My... Were you in in the in the back pew somewhere? Huh? Ooh. Pastors, pastors' quarters. No. Uh, did you yeah, put on his robe? Hello, I, you know, I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she was no. in the rectory. Right. Oh. <laughs> Too soon. So no, my thought was actually really irrelevant. That's why I stopped. But we were talking about Logan, and I think I mentioned this last episode, and I don't remember, so I'm just going to reiterate how proud I am of her because I know she could dance before, but last season she talked about being a little bit insecure because all the girls had so much technique behind them Mm -hmm. and she had danced but not to that level and even in tonight's dance there was a lot of technique and not just technique but technique and heels Mm -hmm. and she hung with everybody and I know a lot of those girls have trained for years so this is just my moment to say that I am so proud of you that's all yeah for sure that's all that's cool yeah yeah Yeah, and that dance yeah what you guys think about that man it's a lachma yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful scenery. Um, the aerial shot at the very beginning was really nice. With as the well. wind and the dresses. And- yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful and then hard and soft and sexy and ballet. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really was amazing. Uh, Michael Rooney, the, the, the ladies are all incredible. Great yeah. athletes. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, they rehearse so much. Eight hours yes, a day. That's what they were saying. Yeah. It's insane. And you got the girls with the lines to be able to do the lines and then come back and do yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So like, that's a lot, a lot. The, for, for the four main actors, it's mm. so... I'm surprised sometimes that Taylor's brain doesn't explode with all the things that she has to do between the memorization and she's in so many mm-hmm. different scenes. So yeah, credit to her by all means. Um, credit to everybody. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, you know, the one thing I was really disappointed though, I will say is where were you in your leotards? <laughs> I was just about to say that episode six. Oh, we have a oh. good number. In yeah. a very special episode. <laughs> this is not a hand job <laughs> The outtakes. <laughs> yeah, I just think one time, because Oscar's always sitting behind his desk, you know, I should get up and walk and be at Garters or something. You know, that there should be something, something, something going on behind Oscar's desk. Behind, <laughs> except for Uh-oh. always eating that meatball sub. <laughs> after he, what happens Spools after he finishes <laughs> eating the meatball sub? Hey, man's got to stay healthy, you know? Mm. <laughs> I've heard that. You know, I, I'm, I'm surprised, though, that Oscar has not intervened yet with Pete and Raquel's fling, if you will. Well, hmm. you never know what Oscar is going to do. That's a nice you know, response. It's extremely <laughs> vague. Right. right. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Eh, that's you never know. exactly the way the show is. I but mean, it's so up. brilliantly crafted that every time you think you know something, and, you know, obviously the show is very incestuous. incestuous. I mean, everybody has known everybody, and then all of a sudden the people that come back in, and, you right. know, Lionel yeah. comes back into the picture. It's like, you know, my son shows up in the in the picture, and just how the whole sh- show started with, you know, Sloan coming in, and it's mm-hmm. like, you know, I can't watch. It. You know, Pete says I can't watch after. It's like, well, you can. She's your daughter. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. so mm-hmm. all of it is it's woven like yeah. very people carefully. can't stay away. They have to come back, even if they go away for a while. They just want to be around. Right. Yeah. And it seems it seems like with having Raquel and Pete there together at the at the LACMA, that was awkward for everybody. It seemed like like Sloane's there. She's like looking. Asha's like, 
my dad and my friend and then you got like jude lionel like everybody yeah. they're just like and they're just canoodling in the yeah, corner they're always like <laughs> don't you hate pda <laughs> yeah and then oscar and chase oh no. sorry oh, oh, oh is that one of the deleted scenes too so, uh, no. let's hope so <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, go ahead. What was that like, though, working with with uh, Rick Fox? Because he is not an actor. Well, I guess he's, he's an actor now. But Rick is an actor. He is an actor now. Oh, Rick is definitely an actor. Some of the best scenes that I have from last year were with Rick. I mm. love working with him, and he and I got a chance to talk a lot, you know, <clears throat> about the scenes and the motivations because we don't know. James keeps everything very, very secretive. So we don't know a lot of the things that maybe we could know or should know as actors. So we have to fill it in mm -hmm. until he tells us differently mm -hmm. and he kind of guides us into a different direction because we don't know. And now I know enough not to, to ask, but he and I had some great, I mean, that, that scene, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the first episode where he and I go, go head to head and yeah. mm -hmm. uh you know the scene in the in the first season where uh you know he's accusing me of doing something and i laid on the line about you know you rape mia right mm. i mean he he is he is an actor he's very talented and he takes it very seriously and he works really hard at it he's you know and he's a nice guy and he's big and he can kick my ass <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of disappointed, though, on this episode that he, I mean, his wife just got murdered and he really didn't even seem that upset. Yeah, ish. I mean, at the same time, I don't think that he's the one who murdered his no, wife either. either. No. But I can agree with that. And when he gave his speech to the mm -hmm. newscast and what have you, in fact, he was looking at the ground the whole time, which was a little awkward for mm -hmm. me also. Hey, zeros that we all mourn differently. Right. Okay. So we all, it's our own <laughs> that, experience. I mean, that was a nice journey. cover. That yeah. really was. Okay. I mean, do you think she, that's how she handles her mourning seriously? Or do you think that she was truly laughing at her words? Or was she on drugs? I think all three. That is a very vague answer, which seems to be the theme of tonight's show. Topic. The theme. Gosh, doggy. All right. So I think we are slowly coming to a wrap uh, as far as tonight's show. But if there's any other questions that you guys would like to ask our wonderful guests, I think we should get those out of the way. Um, Takers, anybody. Do you guys have any sex scenes? Not together, but do you guys have any, oh, glad you got that out have any sex scenes? Yeah, because, I, I you know. think we already covered the whole hand job. <laughs> Uh, for right. me, um, the meatball sub. No. <laughs> that, that that was that's been it for me. That's your that, that's your aw. Wait and see. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Keep it vague. You I wanted see. to. Uh, I was gonna say any other projects that you guys are working on now. Yes, please. Uh, you wanna go? Go ahead. Go. Meatball um, sub. <laughs> <laughs> meatball sub. Uh, me and my buddies are actually working on a project. I want to get into the producing aspect of it, oh, business cool. side. So try to shoot something this summer, get a script going. So we're almost there, but that's about it for now. Then a couple auditions coming up. But I mean, it's pretty dead right now. Right, yeah, cool. Uh, as usual in an actor's life, when you have a job, that's when you get another job. So I had another job, a movie to do while we were doing this, and two days conflicted, so... I didn't do the movie, so now I'm just sitting at home having a meatball sub. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I am traveling. My uh, oldest daughter is graduating from oh, Cal awesome. Poly San Luis Obispo, so I'm going to graduation. And then with my youngest daughter, who is at UCSB, a softball player, we're all going to take a trip and go to Italy. To nice. Italy. That's amazing. So. Very cool. Very you cool. know, I would like to ask you, because I know you've been doing acting for a little while, and you've obviously been doing it for a while as well, too, but being an artist, a lot of times work sometimes isn't consistent. Has there ever been a point in either of your careers where you just thought, I don't know if I can hang any longer, or this is going to happen, or, uh, like, describe maybe a moment where you had just a very tough time and how you were able to get through that? Uh, well, this morning, <laughs> 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 you know, it, it's a constant thing. I had... Uh, I've had long periods of time. I mean, I started out, uh, you know, right away working. And after working, being on the 70s show for eight seasons, you know, we joked about it, but making the transition and, you know, having people see that there are other aspects, you know, and Oscar is the complete opposite mm -hmm. to, you know, to Bob, you know, there are long periods of time. But 
you know, we were talking before the show. I love being an actor. I love the psychology of it. I love the 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 activity of it. It's you know feels like being you know an athlete and you're mm-hmm. working moment to moment, and it's it's very exciting and it's very exciting to work with young actors and their exuberance. You know, for a lot of them, this is the, just the beginning and their first thing and that's very exciting to me because I still feel that same way when I walk on the set so you know it's just a passion you do it because you have to do it because you got no choice yeah because if you had a choice you wouldn't you wouldn't go through all the you know the ups and downs and the disappointment but then when you're on the set you know it just makes all that go away and then you drink heavily after. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. And what about? No, that's how it was. Actually, before I even got this, it, I came to a point where I was just like, I don't. Do I really want this? I mean, it's it's tough. Mm-hmm. And then this came along, and then we started working. I was like, wow, it's. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Then working with this guy and everything. It's just it's been an amazing experience. I mean, this whole it's been my first job basically. Yeah. And uh, Aww. Aww. That's no, it's like it's like going to summer camp. I was Aww. talking to Mac about it, McKinley. It's just every day you're with you're with everyone and you're mm-hmm. working, but it doesn't feel like work. Right. And then so you're, you're spying like on the girls' locker room because that's what I remember that. for summer camp. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I got into trouble. Cutting holes. And <laughs> <then>. <laughs> no, but yeah, this has been a great learning process for me, and it's weird because we've done what we're doing this for like five months. We're shooting for five months, and then you just stop. Like, whoa, yeah. what am I Go doing with my life now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how you're but probably like, shouldn't I be like studying something? <laughs> yeah, or right. Like, yeah. But it's great you guys really, have to work with such great people. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. James LaRosa is amazing. And he directs the last two episodes. Uh, and he is so intuitive as a director. But the entire group of writers, producers, actors, everybody, the crew that's involved, it, it really is the the best job I've ever had uh, in, in in every way. I mean, it's a great place to be creative, and everybody contributes, and it's really just a wonderful experience. I mean, it, it really is a fantastic, and that starts from the top and goes all the way, uh, you know, down. And uh, VH1 is, you know, yeah. really supportive and they got a hit on their hands mm-hmm. yeah, yeah for sure yeah. 3.5 million in the first very yeah. first episode that's the incredible premiere. yeah, yeah it's it was like super number incredible. one show with like 18 to 35 year old women or something yeah. i was reading so congrats you guys yeah. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. amazing absolutely. <laughs> absolutely let me ask you this though oh. okay because brent what is it like and the same question for you two down but what is it like watching yourself on a hit tv show it's great okay it's, <laughs> there's two there's two things I hate watching myself. Mm. I hate hearing myself. So it's a thing. Like we were watching it earlier. I hate it. But then you think about it and you actually watch. Because I like seeing everyone else's scenes. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but it's cool, man. It's really cool. Especially getting the ratings and everything on Monday. And yeah. It's great. It's great. I'm really excited for you guys to see this season. It's a lot in store. A lot in store for you guys. It's good. It's, it, 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 you know, when you're working, it's the best thing in the world. But actors, there's always that thing of, is it going to last? Mm. Is my character going to last? Is the show going to last? Are, are things going to go in a different direction? Mm-hmm. And when it stops, you know, then then what happens? So you got to, you know, you're continuing to, you know, try and stay alive and keep moving. And, you know, what Brent's doing in, in uh, working on producing things and creating his own stuff. Right. You have to. It's it's self preservation because when it stops, you know, you need, you it's like else, right. it's really quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have one last question. You mentioned producing, and I could be wrong again. I I looked some stuff up on the internet. Is it true that you co-produced a few seasons of Friends? No. No. Well, then they put that on the internet. Yeah. Well, uh, if that is true, and it is not, I would like to have my money. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I want it now. <laughs> okay, if it's on the internet, it's got to be true. It has to be because true. you yeah, saw me to. dance, damn it! Yeah. I want my money from Fred's. <laughs> <laughs> but now, what's what's because you are a veteran actor in the city who's been multiple titles and and you know like a, a, another hit show. So, what one nugget can you give Brent and can you give us and can you give the people watching uh, that you've learned from your years of being in this business? Just do the work, create, keep creating, because it's all about doing the work and creating and doing something new. Because if you get too caught up in this show, this moment, this scene, uh, it, it all can, can end and then you can be crushed. You can't allow yourself to be crushed. You've got to constantly be reinventing and finding something new and keeping yourself active whether it's doing plays or writing something or, you know, even using an Etch-a-Sketch if those still exist. <laughs> <laughs> There's an app for that. Yeah. There is, there is, there is. There is. Um, okay, so we're running out of time, so we're going to wrap things up. We always do a really quick segment of news and gossip, so we'll try to whip through that really quickly. After Buzz TV News. Hmm. Okay, you know, I like pictures. I got a couple pictures. Uh, we'll, if my engineer can pull them up, that'd be awesome. In the meantime, if you guys have any fun juicy news and gossip that you can share no Dang. crickets Whoa. can't share much can oh, they oh so i found this picture i you know i don't even know if it's leaked and if it is oops i'm sorry james and if not you know just a sneak peek into what we could be seeing dancing in the future yeah i'm right over right <laughs> just <laughs> past right, behind right, right elena here. that you can't really see that's me oh, back okay. there I see, that? With I, the see I see the meatball sub yeah, yeah, I do. yeah that, there you go. that looks like you uh, healthy, 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 healthy. 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 Yeah. For those healthy. of you who are listening on uh, iTunes, you can also watch this on YouTube. You'll see the pictures that we're talking about. Moving to our next picture, we can skip this one and go into our next one. I didn't realize this was going to be tonight's episode, so I was just, ah, I pulled this one especially up Aww. for Nick because, you know, he's always busting people's chops about is there going to be more basketball in the show? Oh, yeah. And clearly they're on a basketball court, so, you know, I just want to make sure you know. They were on a basketball court last season. Well, uh, well, that's a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to be a basketball show. I don't know. I know, if you, but you were complaining you about watched. the lack of back, ba actual basketball. Basketball. Thank you. Because there wasn't any basketball this episode. It, it, that is a good point. Right. That's true. And okay. last, last episode, there really wasn't any basketball either. So let's move to the next slide. <laughs> <laughs> we had 10 more episodes left. Ah, so hey, this I found. Cat. And I, and, and yeah, I was right. like, wow. Yeah, okay, because she's in an article for Playboy. Hello. Real sexy over there. There's no basketball in that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Nick playing. is okay with that. I am. Yeah. I am. I am. <laughs> so for those of you who are Cat Bayless fans, please go and check her out in Playboy. Nick, your voice got a little squeaky there just for a second. <laughs> Definitely did. Like I feel like I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to DM Cat and be like, hey, <laughs> just slide into your DMs real quick. I saw that Playboy spread. <laughs> that's creepy. That's creepy. That's so, creepy. Yeah. so that's all I have for news and gossip. Why don't we get into some real quick predictions? Quick predictions? Yeah, quick predictions. Right, I'm gonna Give say, me a one-liner. Uh, I think uh, Zero and uh, Terrence. I see some kind of maybe fight happening or something. I don't know. He's got to get pissed off sooner or later. He's got a bum, le a bum leg, but he's, he's going to... I'm going to counter uh. argue, argue your prediction, and I'm going to say that Terrence is going to get involved in drugs. He's going to spiral downward, and he's not going to care about Elena. And if he does, it's going to be in a big, huge rage, and then whatever, he's going to be so worked up about his knee that it's just, you know, wow. is irrelevant. Um, I'm thinking that, this is so random, but I'm thinking that German's actually going to work his way back with uh, Asha, because um, she's going to get kind of get annoyed with um, Derek. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. My okay. prediction is not going to be there. related to any of you guys, but I think that uh, Sloan and Jason George's character, I forget his name. Ah, good he's prediction, the, I already uh, know. Detective. Uh -oh. They may have a couple late nights, and, mm. you know, it may slip into something freaky. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it looks like it wraps up our show. Thank you so much yeah, to our guests. Thank you guys so much for coming through. A lot of fun. Thank you. Why don't you leave everybody your Twitter so that way they can follow you and talk to you all about the show? Mine's simple. It's just at Brent Antonello. Okay. So is mine. No. No. <laughs> Don Stark 70. That's what it is. Kind of easy. Boom. Perfect. Why don't we start with you, Mark? Uh, find me Mark Rodriguez TV. There you go. Find me all over the internet at the Nick Purdue. You can find me uh, at Layla Sadney, Twitter and Instagram. 
And I'm Ali Kona Bradford. You can find me at Kiss My Passport. You can also check out my website, alikonabradford.wix, W-I-X.com, backslash television host. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time, and we hope to see you again next week. Later. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs>